never catch him while I'm this small. Why, curious butterflies. You mean bread and butterflies? Oh, yes, of course. Uh, hmm? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to the love vlog. Thank you for checking in. Today I am at North Cliff Reserve and I came out for a bit of a scouting mission, a bit of a recce, getting ready for autumn. It's the 2nd of September, so it is officially autumn. It's a little bit early. So I thought I'd come for a recce, but there's a bit of colour already. The, the colour on the leaves is turning a little bit. There's a few signs that autumn's already here, so I thought, why not do a vlog while I'm here? I might get a few shots. Um, and yeah, we'll see how we go. I'm not sure exactly what I'm gonna shoot. I've seen a few mushrooms on the walk-in. Um, but we'll see how we go, we'll try and find a few shots. Well, I didn't walk too far and I just found this big old mushroom. A little bit damaged on the top, which is a shame, but um, I'm still gonna have a go at it anyway. It's a nice simple one just to, to get myself into it and get a shot under my belt. But it's nice because it's um, surrounded by you know, some dead grass, a few leaves, so there's some nice oranges and yellows and a little bit of green. Um, settings wise, f5.6, nice shallow depth of field, uh, 1 320th of a second shutter speed and ISO 400. So it's a little bit overcast, um, the sun's not shining through yet, which we, we hope might happen later. Um, but yeah, I'll show you this one. Well, I apologise for any background noise if you can hear it. Um, obviously, it's harvest season, which is you know the signal of the end of summer for us. So yeah, there's a big uh, combine harvester in the field behind us making a lot of noise. Uh, I haven't mentioned yet, but I'm with Chris and Dave. And if you're familiar with our channels, their content, you'll know they're very good at woodland photography. It's kind of like their bread and butter. If you're not familiar with their content, go check them out. They're both really good. But yeah, for a photographer like me who's not great at woodland stuff, it's great because I can you know, watch what they're doing, look out for what they're looking out for, and uh, generally just steal the photos. Um, no, I'm not. I'm trying not to. Uh, but yeah, that's the only sort of tip I've got for you. Like, in regards to woodland photography, find someone who's better than you and learn from them in all kinds of photography. But yeah, they've gone out of sight, so I'm going to go follow them and steal some, not steal, I mean, get some more ideas. Well, scrap what I've just said, I've just completely stole one of Chris's shots. He um, had it all set up and everything, I even left the lighting and I used his lens. Uh, so I won't talk you through it, I'll just show you in a second. But go check out his, his vlog for how he got the shot, uh, the vintage lens he was using, etc. But yeah, here's the image. I've just found this little um, leaf, fallen leaf, just hanging sort of mid-air on a cobweb. And I don't know if it's a really stupid idea or a really good idea to try and capture it as if it's a falling leaf with the trees going off in the background. It could look nice. Um, it's flapping about loads in the wind. So I've, I've cranked my ISO right up to 1600. I've still got the 100 to 300 on, same as the first shot. Shallow depth of field again, so them trees are going out and blaring in the background. And uh, 1 200th of a second shutter speed, which might not be quick enough. I might have to ramp my ISO up a little bit more. Um, but yeah, it could be a good idea, it could be a really bad idea. We'll see. Well, 
Well, I phoned one of my own this time. I'm not uh, not stole it, but I've had to ask him if it was dog or not, and it's not completely dog. So that is good news. It's pretty dark, so I've got both lights set up now. I found this little shroom amongst all this heather, and uh, I've got the 20 to 70 on, nice and close up. Uh, shallow depth of field f5.6, ISO 800, and that's given me about a 1 250th of a second shutter speed. Shooting in portrait, I can't get on a, land, on a tripod because it's that low to the ground, but it, um, it might look nice. As long as it doesn't look complete dog, I'll be happy. The light is completely gone now, as you can see behind me. Uh, I don't know how this vlog's going to look, because I've not really had time to get the, the uh, drone out or get any B-roll. Uh, but I've not moved very far, and i found another mushroom. It's a little bit bigger, and it's in the heather again. So I'm going for a similar kind of thing, uh, using both the lights. One light coming in from the side, one front on. Uh, same lens, 28 to 70. Pretty much the same settings. What am I on? F5.6, ISO 800. Uh, and that is giving me 1 60th of a second shutter speed. I'm having to use quick shutter speeds because I can't get on a tripod, I'm at low to the ground. Chris has just informed me I should get a beanbag, which is a really good idea. Uh, but for now, yeah, handheld, quick shutter speeds, and I'll throw the image up in a minute. But um, I think I'll end the vlog here. Uh, I don't really know what the topic was. It was supposed to be autumnal kind of thing, but it's ended up more shroom photography, even though there was that falling leaf, which probably won't work out. But yeah, thank you for checking in. Thank you for watching the vlog. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up, a subscribe, all that good stuff. And I'll catch you on the next one.